So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So I had some people go ahead and email me and say, hey, time for streaming. How do I go ahead and activate the ad blocker for my third party apps so I don't see ads every time I go ahead and watch a movie? So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So stay tuned, it's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. If you're looking for a new device, go ahead and check out my description down below. A couple of different links in there for some devices and accessories. And no extra cost to you when you click on a link. Small commission does come to the channel, which helps bring in more videos for you to enjoy. So right now I'm on the home screen. If we go over to the right, we're gonna see this nice logo right here, which is a Bumblebee. A lot of people know about this app, but according to YouTube, I'm not allowed to really go into it and show you what's inside it. But if you don't have a program on here to block the ads, when you're going through it, you're gonna have an ad, and sometimes when you click the back button, you gotta get a full screen ad coming up. So now what I'm gonna show you what you need to do is go ahead and get an ad blocker so you can stop that so that way you can go ahead and search through the shows that you want with no ads so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up your downloader program once you have your downloader program open what you need to do underneath where it says enter a url or a search term or a short code you want to type in 218830 that's the shortcut code for the time for streaming webpage. So let's go now and click on go and head over to the time for streaming webpage. If you like what you're seeing so far, click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I put up some more videos. Also go ahead and tell your friends, family, share the videos with them. Tell them to join and subscribe to the time for streaming YouTube channel. This way they also know when I put up some more videos. So right now we're on the time for streaming webpage. Let's go over, click on the three lines, and come on down to where it says downloads. Go ahead now, click on downloads, and wait for the page to change. Once the page changes, let's go ahead and scroll on down. You can download anything that you want in here. Everything is all virus free. Everything has been scanned, but please always scan it yourself also. So let's keep scrolling down here. We got ad blocker downloads. Let's come on over to where it says ad guard and download ad guard. Click on it, it's going to connect. Give that a few seconds and we'll go and install it. Once the page changes, go ahead now, click on install, give it a few seconds. Don't open it, it's gonna come up and say open and done. Don't open it up because what we wanna do is go ahead, click on done, and then we wanna hit delete. Click on delete again, and now click on that home button. This goes and it takes the file out of the downloader app. So this way it doesn't clear up a lot of room on your Fire Stick. You don't want it to take up room on your Fire Stick. The more room you take up on the Fire Stick, the more it's going to run slow. So now that we just downloaded the ad guide, let's go over to the right to where the three squares are and the plus sign, also known as your apps. Click on it. Anytime you download something new, it's always at the bottom. Go ahead over to the right. The three button remote. Go ahead and click the three button on your remote. Go ahead, click on move to front. Press on that home button on your remote. Once you press that home button on your remote, let's go over to the first one. That's your ad guard, your ad blocker. Click the end of the button on your remote. Give it a few seconds to go ahead and open on up. Right now it comes up to says protection is disabled. So you try to use your down arrow and all that on your Fire Stick remote, but it's not working. You can't get over to where it's red and you wanna turn that button into green, but nothing's happening. So what you really need is a USB remote. You go ahead and you use the USB mouse. The one I use is a Re Mini Mouse keyboard. It works out really good. Let's me do a lot of things. I could do a lot of typing, also has that virtual mouse. So that way I can go ahead and enable the protection if it's disabled. 
I have a link in my description down below. All you have to do is go ahead and click on it and get yourself one of these remotes. Also, you need an OTG cable. That way you can hook it up to your Fire Stick. That way you can plug the USB dongle into the OTG cable into the Fire Stick. And this will allow you to go ahead and use the mini keyboard remote. So now once we have that all set up, what you want to do is to go ahead and turn on your remote. Once you turn on your remote, then we could go ahead and turn on the protection. So here's my little virtual mouse right here. As you can see, I'm going to go bring it on over and just tap on. It's going to slide it over to the right. It's going to put it into the green. It's going to say now enabled. Go ahead, correction. Let's go ahead, connection request. Let's go down and say OK. Once you have it highlighted, make sure you go and click on OK. Brings you right back. And it says enabled protection. Now let's go down to where it says start surfing. Go ahead, click on start. That's fine. Give it a click. And now you're free to roam. Always remember when you are streaming, always use a VPN. One that I recommend is Surfshark. Also I have a description, a link in my description down below. Click on it. They have some really great prices for you. And it's a really good VPN. That way you could go ahead and surf safely. Let's go ahead now and click on that home button on our remote. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. That's how you go ahead now and you put an ad guard, ad blocker onto your Fire Stick. Also, the same steps can be used on your Android devices also. Now, when you open up your third party apps, and please remember it's only for third party apps, will not work with Netflix or YouTube. Hulu, any one of those. It's only for your third party apps, like the one I showed you before at the beginning of the video. This will go ahead and block all those ads. Click on that like and subscribe button, ring that bell. This way you know when I do is put up some more videos for you. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.